Hi, this is A-plus Ashley with ATLHipHop.com, and I'm here at the A3C Music Festival with the producer, Black Metaphor. How's it going? Good, good. How's it going? It's going great. Well, it's so uh, such a pleasure to have you here today. I know that you have been actually one of the producers who's actually grown a lot throughout participating in the A3C process over the course of many years. So tell us a little bit about how you first came to A3C and what you did here this year. Uh, well, I first came to A3C as a producer uh, entering the I Standard Beat Battles, like back in like 2007, 2008. And then, you know what I'm saying, from then till now, it's just progressed. I done made it, got a few placements under my belt. So now, you know what I'm saying, I'm at the point where I'm speaking on panels and giving advice to up-and-coming young producers. Oh, well, that's awesome. So tell us a little bit about some of the placements that you have so that our audience knows who they're talking to. Uh, I did Ali Boumaye for Game, 2 Chains and Ross. I did Richest Gangster for Rick, Rick Ross. I did uh, In God We Trust for Meek Mill. Um, Sanctuary for French Montana. Uh, it's a lot. The That's list. a lot of hits. Goodness, I think those are some of my favorite songs. That means you must be one of my favorite producers. It's quite an honor. So, over the course of that, how would you say that participating in A3C has helped you to get to the point where you were able to score those major placements with artists like Boosie, Jeezy, Rick Ross, people that a lot of people want to produce for as well? Well, I mean, the networking here is crazy. Like, it's, it's great for up-and-coming producers, but it's great for established producers, too. Like, this is one of the times a year where we actually get to meet our peers as professionals along with us in the industry. So it's just as much opportunities for up-and-comers as it is for the people that's already on. Okay, so would you say that the I standard element of A3C is its own distinct element, or do you find that it's fully integrated into the rest of the festival? I mean, it's integrated, but it's really like its own little thing. Like, it just be going on at SAE, and they just got their own panels and their own set of people that be coming through there or whatever. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's included, but I feel like it's a little bit, it's just different from everything else. You know? Okay, yeah, I know from the times I've been there, it's kind of like, super geeked out producer stuff but i like hearing the music so sometimes it's fun i think an ordinary person could enjoy it going if they're really into music though right yeah, yeah definitely definitely okay so tell us about some of the producers that you've networked with here this year at a3c uh this year a3c i met uh two of my favorites i met alchemist and i met just blaze this week you know what I'm saying it was a pretty cool opportunity to get to meet two dudes that i look up to a lot you know what i'm saying and, and get to hear them tell me that they like some of my music. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Okay, now a couple questions. Now, A3C is a lot about development of yourself as, an, as, a, as a person within the business of hip-hop as well. How do you feel that you've learned about enhancing yourself, not only as a brand, as Black Metaphor, the brand, but as the business person, Black Metaphor, through participating in A3C? I mean, like I say, you just you, you make more connections. You know what I'm saying? You get more advice from people, you know what I'm saying, or older producers like, They'll, they'll advise me on a couple things that I might need to do or just things to think about going forward in the business. Like, you just get to hear from people who've been through it. Okay. So now I'm going to ask a couple of the questions that I'm sure the other producers want to hear. So what exactly are, do you use to make beats on right now, and what do you hope, or, yeah, what are you making beats on right now? Right now, I'm on the NPC studio. Oh, you're on the NPC. I think last time I talked to you, you weren't on the NPC. What made you make that change? I mean... I don't know. I just, I use a lot. Like, I use every software there is pretty much. Like, I started on Reason, then I was using Logic, and then I went to FL for like a year, and then I just got the MP. It was like the easiest thing I ever used. So, I mean, why switch? I feel you. If it's, if it's not broke, don't, don't fix it. So now, a couple things. Uh, I happened to catch wind that you were somehow involved in the Meek Mill versus Drake beef. How did you get involved in that, and do you want to share any other general remarks or what happened with that? I know you produced for Beak Mill. You haven't even produced for Drake. What are your thoughts? I mean, honestly, I was at the crib. I woke up one morning. My homie texted me. He was like, yo, there's some paperwork going around with your name on it. You might want to see this. And he sent me a picture of the contract that I signed for the song that I did on Dreams and Nightmares, and they was trying to say I was a ghostwriter for Meek. <laughs> and I was so, just like, so do you have a secret career? Are you a ghostwriter for Beak Mill? No, nah, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so there is some misconfusion. People not understanding that producers also get publishing credit on songs as well. Okay, so do you did you send me any any words of encouragement or support after that, or what did you? I sent him some beats. <laughs> he needed to revive his career. Yes, he needs some hot beats. So tell us what we can look forward to from Black Wonder Four in the future. 
Uh, a lot more dope music. You know what I'm saying? I'm continuing to collab with the artists that I've been working with. And I'm in the process now of developing a few artists on my own. So, you know, just be on the lookout for it. I probably got an instrumental project coming out that I might put out. I ain't sure yet. The world might not be Will put out. The world might not be ready for it, but you know, it's 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 done. You know, there is an instrumental tape. So, you know, a few things, yeah. All right, and you're gonna continue to use your own sample based sound and we're not gonna hear you sounding all of a sudden like Mike Will and Zaytoven, is that correct? Well, see, I want to just perfect all my swords, you know what I'm saying? So you might hear some of that, but it's still going to be a mostly sample shit, though. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Black Metaphor. It was, it was a pleasure speaking with you. You're an exceptionally talented young producer, and I look forward to hearing all the wonderful placements that you have coming forward and seeing you around A3C as you continue to develop. You want to sign off? Cool. Thank you. Shout out to atlhiphop.com. Yeah, A plus Ashley for the interview. You know what I'm saying? It's Black Metaphor checking out. Peace. Thanks, everyone. Peace.